Wow, while I was uh, being a lazy bastard, my parcel arrived, but I didn't receive it until today. Well, until this afternoon anyway, because the neighbour kindly gave me the uh, parcel. Uh, he holded it in and such like that. Um, meaning that I fell asleep at the bell because obviously <laughs> I don't have the buzzer attached. Etc, etc, etc. Anyway, I thought I'd film this today because of the lack of content as usual. Now, in these cupboards, there's no lights or anything to see. So, we're going to be changing that today with these lights. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put you down on the tripod and then we're going to open these up for real. Now then, I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of a new shot sort of thing, so hopefully you can see okay. Anyway, we're opening this up. This was by this company, by the way. Not sponsored, because I'll be obviously criticising. And yes, I am in my pyjamas, about to go in the bath. Yes, it's late, uh, which is about mm, quarter to four, so I'm gonna get on with it. Um, so yeah, information, shit. I can't see what you're seeing, hang on. There we go, I can see that. Instruction shit, distances and etc. It says I can't put it in the cupboard. And it requires three triple A's, which means that I'm going to have to get quite a lot of batteries out. Which luckily I've got a load of anyway. Hopefully it's the same triple A batteries that you described. But what's good about these lights is I don't have to push the light on. This is a sensor right here, so it senses the precedence of you. And obviously from the power of batteries, oh that was a nice lid actually. That's better than the cheapy ones I normally get. And by the power of three triple A's, I can just easily replace it no problem and the idea is I can put some sticky stuff or something or a magnet whatever uh, apparently it will stick to it so oh yeah here we are here is the 3M tape that's one of them's gone missing too <coughs> so yeah hopefully these will stick properly to the damn thing because it's I've had some bad experience put it that way with sticking lights on and that so that's one of them let's put this one on same shit look, same lights, the idea is one on each part of the cupboard so you know you can see and if they're any good I might get another box of these and I might put them where the TV license letter is and all sorts of different stuff so we have a load of lights here and a load of sticky pads, hopefully the sticky pads will stay onto the surface because I have a reputation of not sticking. Let me give you an example. Here is one of the push on lights that I recently showed, well, about a year ago actually. Uh, very nice little light. You push them on and off, but the problem is the sticky pad, not very good. So you've got to put like um, some of a sticky solution that doesn't work either. So hopefully this 3M tape will work fine. So let's uh, go onto a different surface and show you, well, show me in fact uh, putting batteries in. So again uh, if you don't know um, the plot of this um, I'm basically putting in lights into my own little cupboards um, if you have just woken up from this video because it's probably boring you um, but what's good about these is the sensor it can sense your princess. Now let's just uh, test the uh, units out I'm thinking about putting in these rubbish rubbish batteries um, I got recently from Tesco for a quid I didn't even know they still sell these but we'll see how long these batteries last and I'll probably test them over time against Duracell or whatever I'm not going to put Duracell in, fuck that I was going to put Duracell in but forget it so again to uh, change the batteries you just twist it and the whole idea is is when you put the sticky pad on this sticks to your cupboard like that and you can just screw the base back on for when you keep changing the batteries which will probably be often because there's no off switch and it's just automatic processing so let's put the batteries in like so same as my other light it requires three of them and just to show that actually if you untwist this with really bad ease as well that's another thing I like about these they're easy as you can see, three batteries, same as this one. Except for they're more separate and they look better. So hopefully these will last me a little longer. Okay, put some more of these in. They're called um, 
XND, I don't know, it kills some crap name. Anyway, putting them in, putting this on. So as you can see, look, during the daylight, not activated. We can turn all the lights off. Turn them off like so. Should turn on, but not turning on. That's strange. Maybe you need. Hmm. Are these batteries dead? They might be dead actually. Let me just check they're in the right slots. Sometimes I get them wrong. No. There's no pull tabby thing. Interesting. That one's not turning on. Maybe the battery's dead. Let me quickly um, put the lights back on and confuse the autofocus a little more. Um, let's just see if the batteries are dead. The chances are they do sell them dead. They've had end of life batteries, believe me. Let's see. 1.48 volts, so they work fine. Unless I've got a dead one. We've got a dead battery here, 1.59. Oh, a bit of twisting helps. Turn this around so I can twist it on. So as you can see, look, the light is now on. So the idea is when the lights all go out, this lights up when it senses the presence which is nice. So hopefully it will turn itself off. It looks bright though. Pretty bright for a, a light look. It's pretty bright. Should get you away around a hallway or something if you ever bought these. Pretty bright actually. Okay so while that's trying to turn off we'll put the batteries in the rest of them and see how they go. Uh, so it would be nice if they were more marked when it comes up against putting the batteries in. left for that one so we're gonna to have to put some different batteries in luckily I've got some Kodak extra long life batteries for the last one okay get these out the problem with odd number of batteries in a pack you can't always get the right amount for each unit you put in. Say for example you use threes, you always end up with one spare and that's where you get mixed batteries folks. Okay, that's, uh, that's in. Put that on like that. And um, there we have it. All of them are on. So if this one is stuck on, Okay. Okay. They're all there. Let's see if they'll turn on. When it's completely dark. Hmm. Interesting. None of them on. Anyway, I'm going to fit them in the cupboard and see if there's any difference. Okay guys, I'm going to put my first one in to the cupboard. Hopefully it will stick long enough in there. There we are. It's working now. I wonder if it uh, will self-time itself. 
<coughs> let's uh, put the next sticky tab on. Seems to be working. I'm going to put it right where the battery is. Well, where it indicates the battery holder anyway. 3M tape, easy stuff. And I'm going to put that in there as well. They don't look very uh, level to each other, but I'm not going to keep moving them. Hmm, maybe we've got some faulty lights, folks. Or maybe they're just born faulty. Let's put some more sticky tape on. They seem pretty bright for what they do. I thought they would be just too damn bright, because you can get too damn bright lights these days. And then I'll put this one like that. Next cupboard. We'll have to close that for a while and come back to it. Hopefully you can see. Um, up to the top here. Then put some more in. And uh, I don't know guys, I've had these before. I'm not sure if they are working properly. Um, one thing I'm scared of about 3M tape is it falling apart. And the problem with that is that means that the inexpensive light gets damaged. Let's put one there. And uh, let's get another one. Maybe they're just like the other sensor I have connected to one of my lights near the UPS. It takes a bit of time to warm up to the fact of the reality of the situation. Same as many of them do. Alright, this is the one with the good Kodak batteries and hopefully this one will last the longest for power. Maybe. I don't know, maybe it doesn't know what night or daylight. Well, it should be, it's a PR light, I forgot to say. PIR light, sorry. Okay, this is the final one. Under there, like so. So now they're all got lights. Okay. Let's see what will happen now with the lights. Let's turn off all the lights. On. What's good about these lights is you can do this, take the battery out and put them back in here. Maybe we've got a faulty battery somewhere. Let's see if there's a faulty battery. This is what happens when you buy cheapos. 1.63, so fresh. Maybe the best circuitry. Maybe. 1.56. And we'll put the other one in slowly into this Chertessa. 1.65. So they're all fresh and they're working. Really odd. Really, really odd. Why do they take a lot of time to register? Hmm, I'll come back to you on this one. Okay, back. And uh, spot the strange. Two lights working. One light working. Unless there's an on off thing that's on it somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to have to read the instructions because I have the clue what's going on. Let's turn all these on now and see if it recognizes the, uh, the light in here. Hmm, it's clever enough to register that. Yeah, interesting guys, very interesting. Let's just read the instructions. Success. I figured out what the hell was wrong with this thing. Apparently, either it's really picky with batteries or you have to keep twisting it and getting the contacts right. What a pain in the ass. But it works. Um, another thing that's annoying is it says use alkaline batteries. I'm not going to use that. Anyway, I had to nick it out of this thing. I'm not going to use it now, I'll put it for the other batteries in or something. But um, we might as well do a quick repair of these two then. See what's wrong with them. See if we can twist the batteries and see if that works. Normally that works. We could change the batteries again like I did before. Um, it could be really, really picky this unit. Really picky. So in the dark I'm going to change the batteries because then we know that when it works is when the sensor actually activates. 
So, yeah, all three lights are working in that now. So maybe these batteries are really shit, you know. I've had some really bad battery experience with the companies. So, oh, this is turning into a very long video. I really do apologize. Oh, there they are. So let's put some good old batteries from Alkalines or Kodak, as you like to call them. And that one's in. Hello, oh, maybe I've got some bad contacts with the other batteries, which explains a lot to me. Oh, there we go. I was correct. So that's another one in the cupboard. It just shows, you know, don't get cheapy batteries. I'm not going to use these again. I'll put them in something else. So put that away like that. Um, let's try and find some more of those batteries. Do you know what, screw it, we'll go for the Kodak Zinc Chloride. I know I said in the previous video that they're not worth your money and etc. But at the time, I think that's all I could really buy. If I could buy anything else, I probably would have. Or if not, then, I don't know, maybe I'm a hypocrite, I don't know. I don't care, let's get these stupid things working. So I've got two working in one bit, and then I've got two, no, three working in the other one. Twist the batteries around. There we have it. Another light working. So we've got a couple of zinc chlorides and a couple of alkalines now working perfectly fine. Either it's one picky ass unit or I don't know, maybe I've got rubbish batteries. I always get rubbish batteries. Anyway, that's that sorted. So, if you want to pick something in the middle of the night, you can do that, no problem at all, in the dark. Very nice, eh? Very nice. And then, same for this. You know, pick out your stuff. Oh, wait, hang on, this one's not doing it anymore. Ah, huh. interesting. It's going to be waking up. Later on like that. And that means you can see in the dark. And I don't have to mess around with lights or anything. That's really good. Unfortunately, they're not all coordinated to turn on at the same time. So you've got to put your hand under it or something to see. But just like with any old lights, you know, you'll be getting something from the cupboard anyway. Oh yeah, this one's for me, by the way. Your oranges are still here. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and all that. It took a lot of aggro to get them working. Let's just try something out very quickly. It's supposed to turn off when there's light. So let's see. They're all. Yep, that one's turned off. These ones haven't turned off, so, so I can tell which ones are going to die first. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hello there. You may be having problems to decide if you want to subscribe or look at the last video. Don't worry, I'm here still. Um, it's easy, just press that little subscribe button and you're subscribed to the latest content. If you want to watch something else, there is something on the bottom screen. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care.